them. No. Ah, ¿Qué es esto? Que no te también hago a ti. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Te que voy. yo soy un profesional. Te sí. voy a ir liando el enlace. Tranquilo, tú tranquilo, fíjate esto. Tú. Time they showed their lion, Asha, having fun with a smelly ball. What's a smelly ball, you ask? Well, keepers say the oldest and smelliest perfume seem to be the lion's favorites. They also say cat owners might recognize the mouth open and tongue out maneuver that cats, both big and small, use to smell the air. Yeah, when my cat's at home and yawns and starts smelling, doesn't look nearly as frightening as a... <laughs> 500 pound lion doing that. Damn the fun. Rich, yeah. you got any smelly balls for your cats? <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I, meant, I meant toys yeah, to play yeah. with. No, ask me later in the week after it gets hot and muggy. <laughs> Let's take you hour by hour future cast. As we head into Saturday and Sunday, you can see we got some decent weather out there. Well, we may see a shower or storm coming in later Sunday and the Monday. That's where we'll have a chance for a little bit of rain as we go towards the end of the weekend. And Brendan, Brendan can't keep a straight face. Anyway, 90 on Friday, going to be sunny and hot. So we get the heat coming as we go towards the end of the week. Saturday, just a slight chance of a shower. Might be a storm by Sunday. Of course, Sunday is Father's Day. Want to keep an eye out for that. It's going to be warm and muggy with a chance of a shower or storm by the end of the weekend with temperatures in the 80s. Nikki? What I meant. It's not what I meant. <laughs> okay. And we'll have a complete report of all the damages, the power outages, and the forecast for the weekend coming up on News Channel 3 at 4 o'clock. Please join us then. I, could we get a little of, uh, gin in that water, a little whiskey in that water? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the margarita machine when you need it? Well, Robin Bryson got so sick of the mess, you know what she did? She hired somebody, a personal organizer, to get her garage in shape. This expert said the first thing to do is buy some organizing supplies like oh. baskets and storage units. She actually paid for that advice. <laughs> Next, empty out the garage. Duh. <laughs> Make piles of everything that belong together. For example, automotive supplies in one place, kids' toys in another. Oh, that kind of makes sense, right? Works. Here's another one good for you that this woman paid for. Donate or throw away stuff you don't use. Oh. Now, who'd have thought of that? <laughs> then put what's left back in the proper place. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me say that again. Put what's left back in the proper place. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, there's more, but you know. You Just can, hire that <laughs> person to, to come in over and do it for you if you can, or better yet, assign a teenager to that job. So anyway, Bob, you got your garage cleaned out for spring yet? Yeah, I'm, I, wait, I'm just taking down the notes here, and uh, I think I'll find. <laughs> Did you all like spells, job, Bob? Build a new garage, I guess. Thing is in control over there. <laughs> On the news. So High five. High five. Oh, it's, Hi. It's for you. This is, of course, Dr. Kim Hammond and his, his friend Mikey. Mikey's this like a, a toddler on crack. This is, Mikey. <laughs> this is Mikey. And I have to tell you, you know, Mikey is, is an emissary for our lakes and our oceans and some of the. Rap uh oh, I'm losing oh. my chair now. A rapidly Mikey. disappearing um, ecosystem. And, and, you know, Mikey can come to your house and you can go see him. Hold on, yes. Mikey. Don't you want Mikey in your house, everyone? He, you know, he'll come for a visit and he'll teach your kids a little bit. You can call the Falls Red Animal Hospital. Oh, they'll please. give you the name, but it's okay. the company's oh, called right. Party, Party oh. Safari. All right. All what right. What's doing? What's oh, down not, there? Ooh, don't, don't pull all, all right. the wires. Oh, boy. Okay. So, anyway, we're actually going to try to get to some questions. It's a little difficult, it's a little distracting. Not too much, you know. <laughs> Why? Just a little. This is a normal day in the Hammond household. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to get to a question. This is from Roy. My cat's I diet call. consists of dry food and a treat of some moist cat food in the mornings. Right. He gets sick on occasion. The result looks like oh. he didn't even swallow or chew his food. Should this be something to worry about? No, it's not something to worry about, but you should definitely pursue that. And if, you know, sometimes well, with cats, when they get mm -hmm. sick, we use, you know, it's hair related or it's right. eating too fast or it's too rich mm -hmm. because the cats can throw up normally. So maybe use a little hairball medicine, give smaller portions, that okay. kind of stuff. All right, I'm a little, I'm a little lost now. Non plus, now okay. Mikey just got my scripts a little messed up, but I think our next question is from Sherry. Okay. Is that right? Okay. Okay. Oops. Great. No, 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 Great. No, no, no. Sherry says I adopted a setter mix from the shelter after she okay. had been home right. for a Hold few on, months. Down. She became very itchy and lost clumps of hair. 
it resolved itself, but now three months later it's back. Any okay. recommendations? Oh, oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. The recommendations are go see your veterinarian because it could be a mange problem or it could be an allergy problem. And it's absolutely something that can be taken care of, but you have to diagnose it. <laughs> Here's to the news. <laughs> Mikey, I need these. Okay. All right. Mikey, can we go to the next question? I'll read it off the screen. <laughs> Maybe Mikey will read it. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Okay, this is from... Uh, Jay Hillier, right, our dog was down. diagnosed with a ruptured knee ligament. Sit. Could you please yeah. talk about the procedures to correct it? Oh, you know, ruptured knee ligament's really simple. It's all surgery, and it's and depending on the type of the ligament, you know, sometimes a specialist has to do it, sometimes your veterinarian can do it. But basically, they go in there and they repair it, just like they repair a human ligament, and your your dog can come back almost 100%, depending on how much injury there is all to right. the knee. Will you let me know the next time Mike, Mike is doing I will be calling in sick. <laughs> By the way, what page are we on? <laughs> I, I... <laughs> All right. You can email your question to pet questions at the WBAL channel dot com or you can visit our website. <laughs> or you can send us your question. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Bye, Mikey. <laughs> we gotta go. I'll see you later. Okay. Thanks so much for stopping by. Dr. Kim, pleasure. I will talk to you later. All right. We'll be right back. The Greenfield Police Department received nearly $4,000 in protection equipment to ensure Officer Donut's safety. <laughs> I love our chances. You know, it's been. Uh, a bit... oh, Man, okay. uh, keep it on the field. Especially how this is all playing out this morning. Oh, sorry. I've got to. <laughs> Well, Curtis, are you ready for some decept? <coughs> Sport is next as a Blaney Sprint car and it competes. There we go, across the Tasman. There you go. There it is. <laughs> I do look for that. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I'm so sorry. Thank Just you. wait until April. No more sneezes. Uh <laughs> and they started drying me off and whatnot, and they used the... The wind, blo wind, wind blower, the, <laughs> the hair dryer, hair dryer? Hair dryer. <laughs> the wind blower. They the started taking blower. a wind blower, blower to my hair. Right. Bring me to higher love. Oh. Oh. Hi, good morning, everybody. It is 7.56. Lucky weather there for Sunday, Lacey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> It's your birthday. I'll let it pass. Thank you. No, I won't. I'll get you later. Moving on to news now. A city street department truck was de-icing the road. In Irvington, Nikita Ramos, News 12. Grab a snack. Continuing <laughs> <laughs> to move to the northwest, north we or northwest, northwest. Reporting live in Carolina Beach. Calling quickly. CBS 17 News. We was catching them. Unlike Aguilar and his mishaps, I like to put that out there. Great September evening. Get out to enjoy while we still have trees on the leaves, a blue sky overhead. Back out here live, we will have much more from the tiny community of Rachel, Nevada at 6.30. Reporting live, your Martell's 13 Action News. Oh. Okay, hi. <laughs> Sorry to just pop in on you. Um, just If Mary, the weaker twin, does die for any reason... I'm sorry about that. We do have some strange characters down here. The Cast, right? Yeah, there we go. Not as humid today, but overall... <laughs> Hi, Bree! <laughs> well... Quarter to ping pong ball size hail with some of these storms. Con todos los detalles del pronóstico del tiempo, adelante... Hola. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó, Miguel? Pasaba por aquí. Adelante. Vámonos contigo, Marilo Kaman. <laughs> we didn't have tornadoes here until we started putting into traffic circles. Because on the counter, you want to know why? The, when people go round and round in circles, it causes disturbance in the atmosphere and causes tornadoes. That's yeah. our names. Yeah, no, right. Good morning, Tech Sunlight. It is Wednesday, June 19th. I'm Sarah Hines. Where do we go? Oh, All right. Well, good there morning. It's a Wednesday. We're going to get to check out your forecast now. I put it in perspective for you. This is a planter that's been left outside. Check this out when I just sort of gently tap the side. 
that's how much water we're talking oh, you about. Can leave now. <laughs> I got that's all the wet. We're going to dry up and give you some pointers on staying dry, which is basically not doing what I just did. <laughs> that's next on Sunrise. Detailed look at your next sh uh, chance at some rain. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. I was like, what was that? Chance of some rain. Woke me up. I was like, what? We feel the same yeah, way thing about it's that for, rain. right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll get to the rain in a little bit, Amy. <laughs> and it's a natural thing, of course. I mean, I mean, I could work out all day, and obviously I'm, a, I'm, I'm an ex-athlete myself. Okay, so, okay, here we go. Okay, so show me how you do your thing. Okay. Let me so, get in there, right? You gotta, you gotta get in there. All right, where's your angle at first? What do you mean, what's my angle? 